Sandy, it's good to check in with you there. There's no better guy to figure out what to watch in a time like this. Hi, Michael. I've got plenty of ideas for you. Uh, I see 200 movies plus a year, but I always miss a few. Maybe I'm on vacation. Maybe I'm at the Oscars. And I always begin with those movies first. The list, can we just say that the list grows ever longer the longer <laughs> we are in this apartment? We just keep adding titles. And for us, no title is too obscure. No, <laughs> nothing is too out there when you have so much time to watch so much program. When I watch at home, I watch eccentric. I watch unusual. My perfect night in has like uh, an old Kurt Cobain documentary or Mr. Dynamite about James Brown. And it is a chance to dive into the, to the deep history of film, as well as kind of the latest and greatest. Is there anything out uh, right now on some of the streaming platforms you uh, recommend? The Hulu show, Little Fires Everywhere. I just um, started watching that. We're on the same page, Sandy. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I love Little Fires Everywhere. We, uh, it's, it's being released one at a time. I prefer, I'm a binger, I prefer binge watching, but uh, I have to say Little Fires Everywhere is my favorite so far. In what ways do you think this is changing how, how films are being made right now and, and what's going on in Hollywood? What's gonna come out of this is a strengthened streaming area and theaters will be more challenged than ever before. They're not gonna go away, but the closure, the layoffs, the shuttering of these facilities, that's gonna have a long-term effect that's gonna reverberate through this industry for years to come. Without a doubt, Sandy, and I gotta say, your passion, your energy for this stuff uh, is, is good to have. And uh, thanks uh, for checking in with us.